Hello guys, Peter Farland here. You're probably expecting to see some gameplay at this point, but uh, to put it plainly, I'm not gonna do that because I haven't bought the game and I won't buy the game anytime soon. I'm here to talk about the pay to win. I know it's been overdone for what, 10 years now? We all know what it is. You pay a bit of money in a free to play, free to play in quotation marks, game and you get way better stuff than anybody else could do and you just well you pay to it it's very basic i mean who won't understand it um anyhow h1 z1 which is a weird name I, I still stand by that statement as well well they done goofed they fucked it up um and i'm not gonna put it mildly they really did fuck it up eight months ago april 22 h1 z1 money making strategy will focus on player customization won't be paid to win the game released in early access today. What can you do? You chime in a few bucks and a fucking plane drops a crate on top of you. Yes. Alright. Well, that uh, doesn't sound so bad. I mean, you can call it a plane, right? Yeah, sure you can. But uh, not if you put an a AR-15 in it. First aid kits, military backpacks, pistols, more guns, more guns, ammo, more ammo. You get the point. I mean... What is a survival simulator when there's a fucking plane dropping supplies like Call of Duty next to you? Get package involved, over. I mean, what the hell? Have we really lost our way? So, alright. Uh, Smetley, the president of Sony Online Entertainment, SOE, comes in. And uh, he, he talks a bit about it. He, I think that's pretty awesome, right? He's probably gonna say, hey uh, guys, we're gonna fix this. No, what he does is, I'm right, you're wrong, fuck off. Ah, Jesus Christ. I'm so tired, uh, because I couldn't really sleep tonight. Not, not not because of this game, mind you. So, uh, I was really, like, thinking, hmm, let me play this weekend. I'm gonna uh, buy H1Z1. I'm gonna spend the 20 bucks, because I support uh, SOE. I think they're a pretty cool developer. I like Planet Side 2. I like Planet Side 2 more in beta than release. It kind of got boring. But, well, boring is... The game was good, okay? Let me put it that way. I just got bored of it. You always get bored of games at some point. So, alright, let me buy it. First off, I'm buying a free-to-play game. That sounds kind of weird, doesn't it? Well, I'm buying a access to early access. Alright, that makes it even sound weirder. Well, what you do, you put 20 bucks down, or uh, you put 36.99, which is an odd number, uh, which will get you the game, and a premium edition, the more expensive one, will get you crate drops. Hey, there it is, air airdrop tickets, there you go. Only three, three airdrop tickets, and when you die, it's gone. I mean, I intentionally didn't really follow development because I really liked uh, to be surprised, just like I was in the DayZ mod. Um, because when I, I when I got into the mod, um, I was really scared, actually. I, it was night. I didn't have a flashlight yet. You had a flare. I didn't know how to light it. So it was really an awesome experience, and I will never forget that. But with this, I might spawn at night... Think, hmm, can't see shit. Let me call on the plane to get some night vision. Like, I understand the uh, the concept of the air airdrops. I think it's a cool idea, uh, like how the original DayZ mod did it. I still like the mod way better than the DayZ early access disgrace, but that's the topic for a different time. I, my blood pressure, man. I gotta keep track of my blood pressure. But in the DayZ mod, you had a helicopter who would crash and everybody just who saw it would of course go for it and a massive gunfight would break out well it depends how many people actually saw it crash um, so it really showed something the dyna dynamic and I think uh, SOE tried to do that but uh, they did something wrong and it just drops on top of your head but you pay for it you, you know how ridiculous it sounds I mean alright April 22 they said uh, we will focus on player customization won't be paid to win blah 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 all right, but that's eight months ago. Is it eight? Wait, that's way more than eight months ago. It's already two thousand. No, wait. Is that, yeah, that's eight months ago. Jesus Christ, math. All right. Uh, <laughs> so, all right. You think? Sure. All right. That's not too bad. That was eight months ago. A lot of changed. But a few days ago, Clack said something. Uh, he said zero ways we're gonna be paid to win. Absolutely zero ways. Well, except the way of the credit card. Uh, I'm just reading some comments on the uh, on a H1Z1 subreddit, which I fucking love I, I, I like I like I li they're they're of course burning the place down and I don't blame them 
I mean, they spend 20 bucks. Let me let me put it through. 20 bucks. You pay 20 bucks for an early access game. I mean, DayZ was 20 bucks, I believe, right? 30 maybe? But you have a full game. You don't pay for fucking customization or guns for that for that matter. I mean, uh, Daisy had the problem uh, in a mod where you had private servers who would say, "Hey, if you become a donator, you spawn with an AS50 yeah, for a round." I mean, that kind of put me off, but I just didn't play on those servers, so I could avoid it. I can't avoid it here. I'm looking for a survival simulator, not call on call on a care package, play Call of Duty, and go home. I mean, there's also another problem. Uh, I also saw this on the subreddit because, well, I haven't played yet. Uh, they have name tags. You look at a guy, you see a fucking name tag. I mean, how is this a survival simulator? Like, mm, let me just scan the tree line. Oh, there he is. <laughs> let me just put a few holes in him with my bought gun. So, I don't know. Where's this industry really heading? I mean, Battlefield has battle packs now. I mean, that's worse. It's a $60 game and you still pay money. Well, it's kind of useless. You pay like, what, $2 for three battle packs? And you get like five battle packs around with lovely 25 XP boost. But I mean, come on, really, stop supporting this. Please don't buy this. Please. The fact that there is already a two hour queue in the EU, EU, well, really? European, let's put it that way. European servers kinda worries me about this uh, direction we're heading in PC gaming and gaming in general, really. I mean, uh, they're probably gonna release this on the PS4 once it's out of uh, early access. I can bet your ass they're gonna do that because they wanna cash in on that. That console money, yo. So, yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay I just showed. I did not, because I don't have any. And neither will I buy, or record, or do anything. Even even when it goes free to play, I, I just... No. No. Fuck it, I have enough. I had have enough. Had had enough. There you go. <laughs> I'm done. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. I'm gonna cry, cry myself to sleep. And, uh, yeah. Fuck this shit. I'm out. Peace. Uh, there's no way you can get ammo any other way. You can't buy ammo. Right. You can't buy guns. Right. You can't get them out of a crate. Right. There's, there's zero way. You have to find them in the world. Right. So. Okay. So you, where would I find ammo other than the police station? So, zombies sometimes have ammo on them. Okay. Uh, which is a incentive to actually want to kill the zombies. Right. Um, sometimes you can find them in houses. There's ammo in houses. There's ammo in the police station. There's multiple levels of this police station. So okay. you can actually search the other floors and maybe you'll find some ammo. So the police stations but are probably going to be highly contested on the servers. Yes. Yes. <laughs>